The first time I beat a difficult game about climbing, it took me over six hours. But what if I did it in 10 minutes? Hey guys, welcome to a speed run of a difficult game about climbing. Just a couple things before we start. First of all, this is not a world record speed run, okay? There are people who can do this game like twice as fast as I can, but I'm a human being and I'm proud of myself, okay? Second of all, this video is a little different from what I normally upload, so if you appreciate that and you like this type of content, hit the like button, thank you. Okay. Speed run time. First thing you gotta do when you start the game is climb up this cliff face and then pretty much immediately you get to the first skip. And it saves you quite a bit of time. You just reach up here and then boom, you're right at the first jump. Now I used to think this first jump was evil, but it's not, okay? Evil is much farther up the mountain. Once you get past this jump right here, you just gotta climb up this rock and then you reach a tree. Normally when I get to this tree, I have to go a lot slower, but I was on a heater, okay? <laughs> I did much better than normal for this part, but for, for the most part, I kind of take my time in this speed run. Like, okay, it's a speed run. Obviously, I'm not taking my time, but you kind of got to balance speed and precision in this game, especially since your body kind of wildly swings around a lot, and you sometimes have to just wait until you stop swinging so you can properly make your jumps. Now, with this part right here, I've seen people somehow jump between the two logs at the top. That is not what I normally do. Normally, I go right here, grab this rock, and then climb to the log. So I guess I could save some time, but you know, that's life. I'm still able to do this in about 60 seconds, which is nice. I usually reach the next part of this in about a minute and 15 seconds. And the next part starts right around here when you get to the gears. All you gotta do, jump to this pillar and keep going. Now, there's not really much you could do here to go faster. At least there's not much I could do to go faster here. You kinda gotta wait for the gears to do their thing. Sometimes I try and push it and go as fast as I can and that doesn't always work out, okay? Slow and steady tends to win the race as long as you don't mess things up. Like this jump right here. I usually don't mess up the jump, but sometimes I do. We're at a minute and 40 seconds right now, which is about how long it normally takes me to get to this part. And you just gotta climb up this building, hop across to the next window, and you're at the top of whatever this thing is, okay? Now, I, uh, I've kind of been refining my strategy here. It went pretty well. I didn't make any mistakes on this part. And I'm only like two minutes in, which is nice. I usually aim to be at the pool in around two and a half minutes. But this stupid jump right here sometimes messes me up because if you pull too hard, you end up just coming off the, the dress. But I made it to the pool, two minutes and 20 seconds. Things are looking pretty good. As for the climbing wall, the first speed run I ever watched of this game, the guy like, I think he fell off the climbing wall twice. So I was like, okay, all right. So, you know, world record ain't that good right now, but that was like a few weeks ago, okay? And the world record has gotten so much faster since then. The first time I played this, I didn't even realize you could grab these bushes on the tree. That would have been nice. And here is my least favorite part of the entire game because I always mess it up. I guess what you gotta do is just kinda kill the momentum on the wheel and then grab as close to the middle as you can. Like, look, at, I'm, I'm, I'm really messing this up, okay? But I didn't really care. Like, I wasn't gonna restart the run because of this. I was just hoping that the rest of the run would go a lot better. And my goal was to beat the game in 10 minutes. So I knew I had a little bit of room, you know? And then I fell back down again because of course I did. Clearly this is the worst part of the speed run. As I said, this is like my least favorite part. I, I never quite figured out the exact strategy. Sure, I could have looked it up, but I was trying to mostly do this stuff on my own. But I, I, look, I, I got over it, okay? Eventually I managed to get back to the balls and I didn't slip off the balls this time. Up I go to the crow's nest, onto the wire, and away I go, sort of. It's kind of, kind of a little bit awkward here, okay? Sometimes when I'm speed running, I try like different things to see if I can do it a little faster, but it's usually better to not do that. I almost fell off here as well. There were a couple of really hairy moments in this. But, you know, despite everything, I prevailed. I'm really proud of how well I can do this now. You just don't want to be right on the end of the girder, because if you are, there's not enough, like, momentum to bring it back up again. And here, you have to do something kind of weird. You don't have to, of course. You can just go around, but I really wanted to do this skip for the speed run, because it's it's a lot of fun. You got kind of got to bring your sensitivity down so you can pull up really slowly. And I don't really know how to describe it, but it's, it's kind of fun. 
And I eventually figured it out. I would have been fine to just go the other way, hop across these hanging whatever they are. I think they're books or something, but I didn't, okay? I did it the fun way. Here I am, reaching across these things, and away I go. That part used to be really difficult for me. The thing that kind of got me good is the fact that you have to reach with your opposite hand. But, you know, it works. It's good. I got it. And now, climbing up these rocks and moving on to the second last pool in the game. This is where things get really bad, okay? So I'm five minutes in now, and I'm really just hoping that I don't mess this up a million times. Because this, this part is a nightmare. If there was any part that I hate as much as the pirate ship wheel part, it's this, okay? I already, I already fell down once, but I grabbed it on the second try. Made this jump as well. And you gotta reach, I don't know, what am I even doing here? Don't really know. You gotta reach right over to the edge and you can get around this rock. And then you just need a really good big swing and you gotta grab another wheel. Surprise, surprise, my two least favorite parts have wheels in them, you know? I mean, that wheel, you just gotta, you just gotta grab it. The lanterns are not very good either, if I'm honest. The lanterns kind of suck. You really gotta like grab them in the middle so they don't hang down too much and you have to jump for this one. I do usually make the jump, but every now and then I mess it up. This part, I wouldn't even dare go fast here, okay? Because the last thing I want to do is fall off the mountain after completing that wheel thing. And I try to do it a little bit faster here, but I really have not practiced this, like, mushroom area. So, really, for the most part, I took my time. Except for this jump. Did not hesitate on this jump. I used to think it was really difficult. Clearly it isn't, okay? Now we're on the last part. This is the last pool in the game. I don't remember how many times I messed this up. Let's see. So you gotta make the first jump here. Reach up nice and high. Boom, you're good. And then you just have to climb up. And there's a really weird jump coming up. And I do normally make it, but I think there might be a better way to do it, which involves kind of hanging off like I did for the skip earlier, where I just grab with my two hands and pull myself up. But if you jump off this thing just the right way, you can grab or not. Or not, okay? So so clearly I messed that up. That wasn't enough to stop me because I'm still only seven minutes into the speed run, okay? The thing about speed running is there's always room for improvement. And that kind of drives me crazy because I, I, I'm, a bit of a, a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, you know? I don't like to make mistakes a lot. And uh, clearly I made some mistakes here. I'm pretty sure I get it in the second try, okay? And I'm pretty sure there's not really any big mistakes after that. Also, this rock always reminds me of Carl from The Simpsons. I don't even know why, okay? I haven't even looked up his face to see how close it is. It just always reminds me of him. It's just just a little fun fact. Anyway, it's not too bad after this for a bit. You just kind of got to grab the rocks and move up. The next big jump is coming up, though, and it's basically the last, second last hard jump in the game, I suppose. Luckily, I did get it on the first try. Okay, I, I basically had enough mistakes after what happened earlier with the two hardest parts in the game. You know what I mean? Here's the last big jump. All you gotta do is just clear it, you know? And I don't try and don't ask me to try and explain how you do the jumps because you just kinda gotta do it until you figure it out. There there is, I guess, sort of a method to it. It involves a sort of like semicircle with your mouse as you jump. I don't know, okay? My brain does it for me. So I don't really need to worry about it anymore. I reached up a little higher this time because I really wanted to make the jump. And I made the jump. Go me. Now, we're in the final stretch. After I made that jump, I knew that there was basically nothing else that could stop me from, uh, you know, putting in a sub 10 minute speed run. Because there's... The only questionable part left is coming up right here. And it's uh, the little swingy boy. And it only takes you a couple swings to do it. One, and away you go. I got it. I managed to grab the rock. Okay, that was, that was a close one. Now we're pretty much at the peak. And I, I, uh, I did not actually record a video where I got the true ending. But there's really not much to the true ending. All you got to do is just climb this little sign here. Grab that. Reach up to the shack. Onto the chimney. Onto the antenna. And then into the clouds. And you just got to climb the clouds until you get to the ladder. That, that's it. There's, there's no more crazy jumps or anything. You just gotta pull yourself up. Don't ask me what I did there. I'm being a little clumsy, okay? I don't even know how people go so fast in this game. Like, I'm pretty good at going up fast, but when it comes to going like sideways and things, I usually just mess it up really bad. So I take my time, especially on this, because if you, 
If you're not careful, you can slip off the rung of the ladder when you're grabbing and reaching up. And I did that once, and I fell all the way back down to the water, and it was terrible. Here's the final part of the game. It just says, thank you for your suffering, yada, yada, yada. It's going too fast for me to even read it, okay? To live is to suffer, to survive is to find some meaning in the suffering, the end. Thanks for watching. Psych, now I'm gonna climb the mountain again. No, I'm kidding, don't worry. Click here if you wanna watch another one of my videos though. That'd be really nice, thanks.